After two decades of use, the Coon Rapids Civic Center is getting a facelift. Work started this week on a major renovation project. CTN's Joe Nelson joins us now from the Civic Center with details. Joe? Karen, it's been a busy week here at the Civic Center with voters casting ballots on Tuesday and demolition work starting the next morning. But that doesn't mean activities are taking a break. I've been waiting for this day. Yeah, I'm really excited and I can't wait to see the final product. Less than 12 hours after the polls closed at the Coon Rapids Civic Center, demolition began. We're getting new walls, new ceiling tile, new audio video, new carpet, new floors, wallpaper, um, new dividing walls. So just about everything in these three rooms is being remodeled. It's a lot of work and we're trying to squeeze it all into six weeks. The building is getting a $242,000 upgrade through funds budgeted by the city. It's been a busy place. We've been in this building 20 years and it gets a lot of wear and tear. The senior center uses it during the weekday, but then nights and weekends there's Boy Scouts, AA meetings, weddings, graduation parties. So it was time to freshen it up a little bit and also be competitive with the market. Many activities normally held here will go on at other locations throughout the city. When we went around town and asked these places if they could help us out, nobody turned us down. They were all accommodating. Activities in smaller rooms will continue here and many others that happen in larger rooms will go to the Coon Rapids Ice Center. I think they would have had withdrawal symptoms from missing their friends and their activities, so we found homes for just about everything. But bingo and senior dining are canceled during construction. Just be patient. It's going to be lovely. It's uh, going to be well worth it. It says a lot about what the city thinks of um, our seniors, and they value them and they take good care of them, so we're pleased. Construction is scheduled to be complete and all activities should be back to normal by December 12th. To find out where activities are going, contact the Civic Center and to follow their progress, visit their Facebook page or stop on by. Karen? Thanks, Joe.